Welcome back to Critics News with more update on as you take the go. In case you have not followed us on our social media handles, please go and check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook because we'll be coming in with update in and out. We are also on TikTok <laughs> with the same name, Critics News. Okay, let's go straight to the reason why we are here. Now, information reaching us just in, um, not quite long, uh, um, not, um, long ago, says that the unknown government has ambushed the Nigerian army in a bony state. Like I told you yesterday, that the unknown government vowed that they are going to be patrolling in different areas to make sure, <laughs> to make sure that uh, <laughs> the Oponko uh, receive, uh, receives it hot in the uh, um, area of um, Ebony State. So they say that some of the soldiers moving in, they, although the information we are getting right now is still sketchy, we have not been able to get the full uh, details. Uh, we have um, uh, dispatched a team of the uh, forming committee to go there and restore normalcy, although they have not gotten there to bring us the full details of what, um, what happened. But they say that the unknown government ambushed the soldiers and they shot sporadically and uh, some of the soldiers now has been sent to judgment according to the info but it is yet clear um how many of the soldiers uh, that um were involved in this uh, sending of judgment we are still investigating now it says breakings buare's visit a failed one heavy gunfire on nunga men ambush soldiers in Uku Aparata, Ebony State. So this is uh, just a breaking news coming in. Uh, full details will come in no um, distant time. Uh, um, I think um, investigation is still ongoing and uh, we are yet to unravel the uh, this thing behind this uh, very attack. On longer men attack Nigeria security operatives in Uku Aparata around the hilltop in Ebony State has Jubri. Are you sure? Are you people sure that this one is Jubri? I be this. I don't even know where they are getting the face mask that this man is wearing. This coronavirus, when I go find out, so eh? <laughs> I don't know what they cover with this thing like this. It'll be like a squirrel nest. <laughs> I don't know where they are getting the face mask that he's wearing. Now, um, his tailor also took um some corrections uh, as he um <clears throat> arrived at Bonnie State. So his tailor has made amendment and I think the trouser this time is uh, um, uh, um, <laughs> has been amended <laughs> to suit him. The last time trouser. <laughs> that was hell on earth. Okay, so moving away from there, they said that the um, our elder statesman, which is uh, Chief uh, Mbazulika Amechi, has pleaded with uh, the IPO, in fact, not even IPO himself. He said, <laughs> he said he pleaded with the unknown government to please make them a beg, make them no vex, that they should just uh, call off the um, seat at home so that we should not disgrace them, that we should just allow the this thing, um, the Buari, the Obon Konyano Gorena Sorok to just have a, you know, <laughs> a free and fair visit in the state that they are going to talk to him to release Mazin Namdekan. I say, all right, all the male, we are looking at it. We will meet Buari in a boni for Namdekano's release. We draw it at home. Um, we draw it at home order. Um, uh, Mr. Ambazulika Abenchi pleads with unknown government. I say, oh, say to go kwano. We na no one talk this matter, make it serious. We na no one talk this matter, make it serious. It is not just every every factor everything that concerns nigeria is a failed one so we, we, moon has still they tell us they may see they give us date for referendum as they release them so the first one that you guys went in 10 months ago you people visited buare and uh, you you came back and say oh there is a political solution and he promised you the man full of lies he said that he's going to release him, although he's a tough one, a, a tough request, but he's going to release him. Up to now, Buari has not done, this fake Buari has not done anything concerning the release of Mazen Namdekano. Now, when I want to go meet him again, I beg, everybody, Quickly, I read on social media that a militant group has issued a statement against the coming of the president of the Zoological Republic, a failed country to the southeast. 
please i want to appeal to whosoever or group behind the statement to please withdraw that threat despite my old age plus uh, plus the aching pains all over my body i'm almost in a wheelchair yet i'm highly committed to restoring peace in Igbo land i will meet the president along with some Igbo leaders and elders about the security of our region which is interwoven in the continued detention of Mazenam Dekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. We are going to discuss this with him. So anything that would embarrass us or the president would make things difficult for us. And anybody who is moving against our meeting with the president is not pursuing the genuine interest of Mazenam Dekano and the overall interest of Ndibu. So I appeal to them not to do anything that would embarrass Southeast because we are going to discuss the insecurity and the Mazenam Dekano's case with your Bonko in Asorok who will be in Ebony State to uh, on to commission gutters and uh, to commission gutter. Because of course I know that he doesn't have much to commission. All they do is commission gutter, a state that is filled. People are lamenting poverty, hunger, and all the all kind of things. But once they, they manage to patch patch one area, devil my devil, you patch patch one area, you go and call him Buari, come, 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 come on, come on, come on, commission it. Let them say that we are working. You people are not working, you are deceiving yourselves. You people, you have failed government, failed from A to Z. No politician has ever passed. No, no pol politician can come out in Nigeria if, and tell you, oh, I have tried. It's a lie. They are all criminals and thieves, looting money. How many of their children are in Nigeria? First question, how many of our children in Nigeria today, the school, to face what we are facing? Let me bring you a video of students protesting in a do state, Benin City, still talking about that there will be no election in 2023 with the way things are going, that they are joking with the lives of the youth. And there will be no election in 2023. So I want to use this opportunity to urge those students in a do state, Benin City, that they, their protest is right. God go bless on our at least speaking up. Then secondly, the only solution is not for them to open us. Because after you have gone to that school, your result will become useless. So the only solution, the final one, is freedom. Once we get freedom, we'll live like humans. We'll live like human beings. That is the first thing first. Every other thing will come later. But if you don't get freedom and you go to that university, finish with that whatever 100 degrees result or 200 degrees centigrade result or just a second class, even below first class, eh, even above first class. If you get that result, it is useless as far as this contraption continues to exist. Nigeria is a failed country where they, they plan to kill your dreams. People whose children are abroad, how will they care about the welfare of the people at home? They don't give a damn. All they know how to do is to loot, steal, thief. Because they don't have common sense. Their sense. They don't have a toilet. They be useless politicians. They don't have common sense. They don't have to be no man. Listen to this particular video. When I go say, ah, he knows how to talk. Are they useful? The, the, the protesting the students from different textual institutions in the Doe states converged on the popular Obavurame Square, known as Ring Road to protest against the ongoing ASU strike which has lasted for over two months. The downpour in Benin City on Wednesday morning could not hinder the protesting students from pressing home their demands, asking the government to respond to the demands of ASU so they can return to school. The students say if the government fail to send them back to the classrooms, they will occupy the streets with protests and receive lectures on the streets and major roads which they tagged University of the streets. We are going to take our lectures on the street. 
since the federal government said we will not be able to take lectures in our classrooms. Like ASU strike has been on since February till date. And um, we are seeing our ministers of education, we are seeing several persons purchasing form for the forthcoming presidential elections. But nobody is saying anything about the educational sector. And we all know that for tomorrow to be bright, education must be right. So we are here in solidarity, chanting that we want this strike to end. ASU, federal government, end this strike for good. The students, we are tired, we want to go back to the classroom. I've been in the university system for a four years course since 2017. This is my ID card. This is my ID card. And my ID card has expired. So if I should go outside and show my ID card, it is, it, I might most likely be arrested for showing an ID card that is not valid. Uh, the President Mohamed Obari led the administration over time has failed Nigerian students. Nigerian students at all levels. The educational sector has been bastardized. We want the government to pay us. If they don't pay us, we will continue this peaceful protest every day. Like I said, uni street, students on the street, we go nowhere. Let every citizen, every citizen, let them feel the pain we are feeling. I want to say this that I've been in Fanaya for two years. I did not speak, but I spent two years in Fanaya because of ASU strike. The, the federal government, the federal government should do something. We want to. We, we, want to, we want to graduate. This, this is my seventh year university of Benin. I did not speak, no carryover. I did not probate. I did not repeat. But I'm spending seven years because of us as to strike. Enough is enough. The federal government should, should, should do something. All we want is simple. We want to go, 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 go back to our classroom. The protesting students who were joined in the protest by some former students accused the federal government of being insensitive to the plight of Nigerian students and vowed to continue the protest until something is urgently done to end the incessant ASU strike, even as they threaten to boycott the 2023 general elections. The persons you are seeing here are not just university students, but stakeholders from all the tertiary institutions in Edo State. So what we are saying now is that we are tired of sitting at home, okay? But as far as Edo State is concerned, all the educational students, stakeholders, and architecture in this state, we have made a resolution that if there is no resumption in those states, there will be no 2023 election in those states. This is our point and this is our stance. And the greatest shameful part of all this is that they are busy buying form of 100, 100 million naira. When did 100 million become so, become a change that people are buying from here and there with 100 million naira? From the look of things, the amount they are used to buy from only can even take off what ASU is asking after. As it stands now, today marking 71 days that we have been at home, and it was obvious to us, it became done on us, that the federal government are not doing anything about it, but going about their normal activities as regards the electoral process. The all we want, we are registering our displeasure, hoping, seeking, praying, waiting, and wishing that the strike should be called off. Continuous ASU strike that comes in yearly, annually, we are no longer happy with it. Every sector is bad, particularly in Unibank, we have lost almost three students now based on this ASU strike. And yet, yet it's just a warning protest. We'll come here tomorrow, we'll come next tomorrow, we'll come here soon. Our cries and our pleading is heard and the government comes to our head. We as Nigerian students, we have made up our mind. As long as there's no education, there's no election. We will not allow election in this country until we return back to our classes. What the protesting student wants is for the Nigerian government to come in compromise with ASU so they can return to their classrooms. Oh, here's uh, Inarume, AIT News, Benin. When I don't see Abby, we are we are begging, we are pleading. Education is your right. As, he, as they born you for that country, your, your great million past grandfathers owns this land. So it is our right to have education in abundance. <laughs> but they have changed it now. They have changed everything. So now you, we, we now have to beg. It's just like what is happening in Nigeria. After working civil servant, you will now need to protest for them to give you your salary, to pay your salary. In Nigeria 
and you want to continue. Oh, we are begging, we are pleading, we are we are telling them if there is no election, there is no education, no election. For God, come on, come out there. Tomorrow night, if they bring Koboko, come that place now, and everybody goes scatter. No be that one be be the solution. Jetting fast, no be be the solution. There is a final solution because after your school, you your result is useless. You can't use it to work. Even if you manage to get a job in even in the government sector or even teaching, they will not pay you salaries. <laughs> then you come out again to protest. Why don't we end it once and for all? Let everybody join hands. Let us share this country. This country is useless to humanity. Only thieves benefit. Their children are abroad schooling Why we are here. We are begging them to come and open school for us so that I've, been, I've spent seven years instead of three years. I've spent the 11 years instead of seven years. That is what you continue. Your children will also grow to meet it like that because animals are in power. See the people, see somebody who are, how he's wearing face mask. Go and see people who are smart wearing face masks like human beings. Nigeria, Nigeria, I bet me will go another news before I change my mind.